What's up guys? Got a bit of a different video for you today. As you can see, you can see me. I can't see you, but you can see me. Now I have some notes here that I'm going to go over with this video so that I can keep track of my thoughts. So if you see my eye while it's going somewhere, I'm just looking at some notes that I've written. And yeah, so let's do this. So you guys may have noticed in the years of watching my videos that I have a little bit of a lisp and a funny way of speaking. And this is because I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate and as such have had many operations and difficulties in learning, you know, how to speak in a semi-normal way. To this day, I still don't have my upper four front teeth and all the bone grafts and all the operations and stuff like that to try and do that have not been successful. So I stopped trying to do it. Now naturally, of course, this caused a number of internal issues as a kid at school, family life, and so forth, I would always look at other kids who were normal and wonder, you know, why couldn't I be like, you know, them? You know, that's right. You know, I would look at other kids and compare myself to them and because they were normal. Oh, I would think. That guy gets a lot of attention from the girls. Oh, I mean, why can't I get that kind of attention? You know, maybe I'm not as attractive because I don't have a normal face. Or... Oh, I wish I had my upper front teeth so I could have a beautiful smile like that girl does. With just these two examples, you can already see the pattern that's happening here. In all of my comparing, I was never better, okay? I was never more, more good looking or more interesting, funnier, handsome, talented. I was never better. I was always second place or actually even worse, the last place. Instead of using the tactic of comparison, you know, as an objective tool to motivate myself. For example, you know, a person has done something they've achieved, they have achieved, so blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can compare what I need to do based on that person and I can be, you know, just as successful or, you know, achieve something similar. Instead of doing that, it became the way that I saw myself. It, I was too concerned about how people perceived me and therefore, you know, my happiness was dependent on if I was better than somebody else, or at least when I thought others perceived me that way. So the catch, of course, being that I was never better when I would conduct these comparisons. This way of thinking created a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of self-doubt, and manufactured really a lot of internal instability because you know, I would project these thoughts uh, subconsciously onto others and conversation and so on as if it was already 100% true and like they already understood it and they already knew it and they already believed it. The problem with that was that many people A didn't even notice, B didn't even care. So but in any case it was a bad habit that became ingrained in my mind and it really affected everything I did, everything I thought about myself, everything I tried to do, just everything. No matter how many songs I wrote, it didn't matter because Mozart and Beethoven wrote more. And Mozart and Beethoven are geniuses anyway. I'm just an or ordinary, average guy that can't even read music. No matter how cool that guitar riff was, still sucked because it's not as interesting as the riffs by the other band that I listened to yesterday. No matter how much heart, soul, emotion, and time I, pour I poured into a song, Still crap, because songs by other famous bands are better anyway. All new song ideas I have are stupid and terrible because they're not original enough. Why can't I come up with super original ideas like all these other musicians? So in, in my constant comparison of myself to others, it only made my situation worse. I started to believe I was a lesser person. And when you get to that point, you literally lose the desire to do anything at all. I mean... Why bother, right? You suck anyway, so what's the point? I mean, you defeated yourself before you even had the chance to fail. And failure, as smart people recognize it, failure is winning. Because you can take that failure, turn it into wisdom, and solve new problems or new situations in the future with that new knowledge. So, what did comparing myself to others actually really do for me? I'll tell you what it did. It stopped me from taking risks. It stopped me from putting myself out there. It stopped me from putting in 110% into things that I loved and believed in. 
all because I spent too much time thinking about what other people thought about me. Comparing myself, basically I just shot myself in the foot, so to speak, and sabotaged myself in every conceivable way. Don't do that. Don't fall into this trap. When you compare yourself, it'll never be a fair comparison. You're going to take your worst quality, okay, and you're presumably going to compare it against the person's best quality, right? You're good. I say presumably because you don't have any idea what you're comparing to, right? You have, you have nothing to gain. And in fact, you're going to lose your own pride and passion for mixing music. And, and really, this transcends mixing. It's about anything in life. Really. You're going to become resentful. I became resentful towards people. Their their luck. Their fortune. And at the end of the day. I started to hate and resent myself. When you compare yourself to others. You waste time. Because you focus on the wrong person. Right? Instead of controlling. Or, or trying to understand. And, and worrying about things that actually you yourself could actually change you're wasting your time focusing on the life of somebody else the person who you're comparing yourself to I mean in the world of mixing and music production this is the death rattle the competition is fierce and the road is long I mean very few things in my life have been as humbling of an experience as trying to learn how to mix music I mean sure learning how to play drums learning how to play guitar you know, making mistakes, I mean, moving to a new country, learning a new language, I mean, those all had humbling experiences as well, but mixing music is such a cold experience sometimes, because it it may seem like progress just stops, you know, and, and you can't manage to do anything, I mean, and now factor, factor in that you're comparing yourself to all these other mixers, and it's a slippery slope, you know, that turns from just a gentle slope of maybe a little bit of hesitation into just a vertical avalanche of self-doubt. In the last few years, I've worked hard, really, to change this way of thinking, to stop comparing myself and find my internal motivation to keep mixing, to keep doing what I love to do. I want to share with you right now how I've been able to do that and how I've been able to put a stop to the self-destructive comparisons and start moving forward the way essentially is to change what you tell yourself and change the, the perspective the way that you're looking at situations I started to just ask myself certain questions now asking yourself certain questions that's only half the battle you have to answer these questions honestly all right for example I'll give you three questions here first question would be is this really important to me okay I mean Really? Why do you want whatever it is that you want? Do you want it because you personally, internally find satisfaction from it? Or because you think people are going to like you and you'll gain status from it? Is this in line, whatever it is that you want, is it in line with who you are as a person? All right. Second question. Where do I actually want to go with this? You know, What am I trying to achieve? You need a plan, or, or at the very least, you need goals for which you are going to create a plan. Yeah, you know, maybe all those people on Facebook or all your other friends, maybe they're posting stuff on Instagram where they're, you know, living the high life, they're in the clubs, they're having a lot of fun, you're kind of jealous, maybe. Well, okay, but how is it going to help you with your plan? You know, what would, what would you gain by piggybacking off those friends who are essentially wasting their time what are you going to gain how is that going to help your plan no you have other plans okay and finally not finally but a really good third question that you can ask ask yourself would be how much have i improved why is comparing yourself to others the death rattle of mixing because when you first start your mixes are going to suck no amount of templates no amount of copy pasting no amount of video watching will help you at all. Your mixes are going to suck hard, badly, and it's going to take years of practice to get better. That's just the cold 
truth, hard fact of the matter. Instead, when it comes to mixing and like and pretty much everything in life that has a measurable, you know, way of looking at things, you compare yourself to yourself. Okay, how much have you improved? Will legitimately strike up amazing feelings within yourself because you're going to look at yourself where you were and where you are now and you will see the progress. That's the correct way of using a comparison. Now I ask these questions and I explain these questions and I'll answer them honestly for you right now the way that I answer them to myself. So the first question was, is this actually important to me? Meaning music. Yes it is. Music is my life and it's been the single most consistent aspect of my life. It was there during my darkest times, you know, as a kid, teenager, and young adult, you know, music gave me and gives me goosebumps, emotions, ideas. It energizes me to take care of tasks that I have to do at work. Uh, it energizes me to do things that I'm not too excited to do, you know. It's important to me, you know, that I that I share this passion with others and I use the talents that I have and, and the work and the things that I have gained through practice and work I want to give others the chance to experience their music the same way so yes it's very important to me personally so the second question was where do I want to go with this now Chernobyl Studios is going to be more than an online mixing studio I want to create a community I want to create mixes of course you know I want to do mixes for black metal and death metal and industrial metal and I want to find my own sound and I want people to be like, hmm, that's a Chernobyl Studios mix. But more than that, you know, I want to teach people how they can harness their passion to go on and create their own music and be motivated enough to mix their own music and, and so on. I truly get excited when I remember how I felt for the first time I recorded something at home t almost 20 years ago already. It was Cakewalk Pro Audio 9, one of those old Casio 88K work uh, workstations. I remember the feeling, listening back, you know, terrible recording of course, listening back for the first time what it actually sounded like and feeling just like amazed. I was like, w just inside like, this is amazing. I want to do more of this, you know. It's a feeling and an emotion that I, I will never ever forget and you know, I have I have goosebumps. You know, I'm just telling you about it, and I want Chernobyl Studios to be an extension of my love and passion for music, mixing music, and essentially to share it with other people. The last question was, how far have I come? Who? Wow. So comparing myself to, let's say, 2014, I've improved by leaps and bounds. My mixes are three or four times better. I mean, my my progression is even evident on YouTube. You can go to my old videos on YouTube. You can go to videos I created two years ago. You know, great, brutal guitar tone. You know, at that time I was pretty stoked and impressed with what I was doing, but now I go back and look at them and I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've improved. And it's because I stopped comparing myself to others and readjusted my perception to focus on what mattered, which was my love of music and my passion to mix and my desire to help others. I know this is a very different video than what you're used to on this channel, you know, but I realized with the help of my girlfriend that I'm I'm a bit too mechanical with this channel. You know, I'm here's a product, here's a review, here's a tutorial, have a good day. And in order to to achieve my goals to create a community, you have to know who I am. You have to see me, you have to learn about my experiences and what I'm thinking. It's a two-way street. I'm very appreciative of all of all my subscribers. You know, when I started this years ago, I mean, 100 subscribers, that was a crazy idea. And in, in a two weeks time or so, I'll, I'll have 5,000. And it's amazing to me, you know. I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, all the folks that joined my Discord channel, I appreciate you tons. It's a lot of fun. That you guys have to join the Discord server. We joke around and troll each other so hard there. It's hilarious, honestly. You know, and all the clients who I've had, who I've been able to get a mix that they're proud to show 
their friends and put on, you know, bond, bank camp and so on and so forth. I appreciate you guys too, you know. Thanks for trusting me to get the mix that you wanted. Now, if you have a problem comparing yourself and you don't know how to stay motivated, ask yourself those questions. Be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself and you have to accept reality. No more comparisons to others. Compare yourself to yourself. Your internal motivation and belief in yourself is all that you need. Okay? Of course, there'll be times that'll suck. You know, I, months I thought I was regressing with mixing. But it was just a lull that I had to get over. And here I am now. I know whatever you guys are working on, as you continue to practice and keep at it, will turn out great. Anyway, thanks a lot for sticking with me in this video. <laughs> if you made it this far, please consider answering the questions from the video in the comments. You don't have to answer all three. Maybe you could just answer the one of them. Or maybe you could tell me, you know, what's, your, what's the worst habit that you have? Is it comparing yourself to others or is it something else? Anyway, guys, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like as well and click that ding ding, that bell notification symbol. So you don't miss any of my future videos and I have a ton of new stuff coming up. Got some, uh, actually no, I'm not going to really tell you anything. I have a lot of cool stuff coming so keep your eyes open. I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? <laughs> have a good one.